Good morning, beach bumps, and welcome back to the beach. Today, I'm walking the beach using some live baits, looking for flounder primarily. Hopefully, might run into some redfish, possibly some trout, who knows. But main objective is to find a flounder or two. Flounder fishing is definitely not my, uh, my thing. I am like the world's worst flounder fisherman. So I, I make no claims that I know what I'm doing, but there's a lot of really good rips and holes really close to the beach right now. I feel like dragging a bull minnow through those rips should produce a flounder, but I don't know. We're gonna just have to try it and see. Uh, so I'm gonna get some baits rigged up. I'll show you what I'm rigged up with here in a little bit, but uh, let's get to fishing. First cast with the bull minnow this morning. Just getting out here. Whew. Bringing live bait on the beach. I'm out of breath. I just stopped at the first rip that I saw. But uh, bringing live bait with the water in your, in your beach cart, it, it'll wear you down. <laughs> I'm on like my eight, ninth rip, somewhere in there. I've just been moving, working down the beach, hitting, trying to cover as much of the rip as possible. And I'm just slowly dragging this minnow through the rip and I'm, I'm hitting each side in the middle. And uh, I'm spending, I don't know, maybe, maybe 15 minutes or so at each rip kind of depending on the size of it this one's really small it's a, a really tight small rip but i'm about to fall asleep flounder fishing it's it's such a slow process <laughs> i guess if you know what you're doing and you're getting on fish it can be a little more exciting but dragging this minnow slowly through the rips it's putting me to sleep i'm on about rip number 20 Still no flounder, had the one bite. But this one looks pretty promising. This, this is some really deep water. This is the deepest water that I've seen up close to the beach. Oh, just felt a nibble. And I, 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 I've got some, some weight. There might be a flounder on here. We're gonna give them a minute. This might be a fish. Yep. There we go. Got it. Got it. Flounder. <laughs> In the pocket, man. In the pocket. Good. Oh, this is good fish. Should be a legal fish. Oh man, what a beautiful hole. See that fish? They gotta be 14 inches now to keep. All right, first flounder, he is 13 and a half. So he is short. He's gotta go back. Woo, first one of the day. <laughs> He's not legal. Get you back. Be easy, buddy. First flounder of the morning. <laughs> it took forever. All right. Uh, there's got to be some more down there, man. That hole is just, it's, it's too good. Regulations changed last year to where flounder have to be 14 inches to keep. They used to be able to be 12 inches, but flounder numbers have been struggling, so they've changed it. It used to be 12 inches and you could keep 10, which was a lot. But now it's uh, 14 inches and you can keep five. So last year, that, that would have been a legal fish, but not any longer. Gotta, gotta be 14. Getting another bite. Yep, yep, yep. He's trying to take it. 
There we go. Oh, yeah. Got him. Got him. Feels like a heavier fish. What is that? Is that a flounder? Yep, another flounder. This one's at least hooked in the mouth. <laughs> All right. Another close one. Come on, man. I need you to be 14. All right, this one's 13. <laughs> they, not, not big enough. All right, we got to get you back too, buddy. Let's, let's get this hook out. All right, flounder number two. Uh, this one, this one's got a scar on him. Right there. Looks like somebody tried to gig him or something. It's got a hole. I don't know. Well, we're gonna get you back, buddy. See, you, dude. There he goes, hanging out on the bottom. Such a cool fish. Pretty fish. I'm just hooking these bull minnows right through the lips. Just well got caught on the mouth there but just right through the lips bull minnows are tough man they uh they are hard to kill they they stay alive pretty well so a really great bait to keep up with they don't they don't die easy on you you can use them for multiple casts sometimes even after you get bites <laughs> you can still use those bull minnows and catch fish so i'm just easing these minnows along the bottom and, and pausing I, i'm being really slow with it when that flounder starts to bite it i can feel just so, some subtle taps i mean you can just barely feel it i'm using braided fishing line i believe it's 15 pound and i just i give it a second i'm, I'm trying to let those fish eat and when i feel that pressure that tension pulling back i go ahead and set the hook I am using a, a size four J hook. That really deep hole, I fished it for a while longer. Nothing else after that last bite. So I've moved to the next rip. This is rip like, I don't know, I've hit so many, I, I, I wasn't even counting, but it's a lot. All right, my minnow stopped. I was dragging and it just stopped again. I don't know. I don't know if we got a fish or if I'm caught in some grass or something. I'm trying to let them be. Oh, that's a fish. That's a fish. That's a fish. There we go. Got him. Got him. Another small fish. <laughs> there he is. Yeah, that one's definitely not going to be legal. But flounder number three, we got a we got a flounder in this new pocket. You don't see many flounder on the channel, but today you've at least seen three. And they are just such a pretty fish. Camouflage on one side, all white on the other. Oh, delicious to eat. But we're not getting any keepers today. Fortunately, this guy's hooked in the mouth also, so. He should survive. So I have not caught <clears throat> many flounder in the surf. It's not something I typically do. I've caught some and generally, even when the, even when the limit was 12 inches, it was difficult to catch legal flounder even then. So <laughs> I know that a lot of the time the ones you find in the surf here, here anyway, where I fish, uh, for whatever reason, tend to be on the smaller side. So this is not uncommon. So far, it's been a fun morning. At least we're getting some action. For a little while there, I was ready to take a nappy nap because it was so freaking slow. But before we go any further, I wanna go over the tackle that we're using. I know you guys are probably gonna ask in the comments if I don't address this, but I've got a size four J hook. And I'm using, the water is uh, very clear today. I'm using 10 pound fluorocarbon for my leader. I've got maybe a little over a foot for that to a swivel, to a bead, 
to, I think this is maybe a half ounce egg weight. It's either half ounce or quarter ounce, can't remember. And I'm just using one of my inshore setups. This is a 2000 size Pin Battle 2. I think it's got 15 pound braid on it with a seven foot uh, Pin Battle 2 rod. This is just their standard blank that comes with it. But we're gonna keep fishing. Our mission is to catch one that I can take home and eat. Because I haven't had flounder in a long time and I'm craving it. Hungry, want flounder. We're gonna grind it out. Yep, 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 yep. He's on it. Come on, eat it, eat it, eat it, eat it. Be a keeper, be a keeper. I right, might be swimming with it. Come on, take it, man. He dropped it. Dang. Oh, there he is. Come on. Come on. There we go. Got him. Got him. He, like, picked it up and dropped it. Couldn't make up his mind. Oh. Come on. Woo! This one's fighting. Man, it's hanging close to the bottom. They're so camouflaged, you can just barely see them. This one's fought the most. I just need you to be 14, buddy. Can you make 14 for me? Can you do it? No. <laughs> 13. Man, they know when to stop growing. Flounder number four for today, and yet to get illegal fish. All right, we're gonna get you back. See you, dude. Whew. Well, we're catching them. That's, that's something, I guess. Man, dad, go. Honestly, don't know if I got this fish or not. I do, okay. There I go. <laughs> he was swimming towards me. That was weird. Oh, oh. He's fat. But, again, I think he might not make 14. Nope. Right at 13 again. Huh. How are they all the same size? What the heck? This is a different hole. I promise it's, it's not the same fish. Dad, gum it. All right. I mean, I'm having fun. Don't get me wrong. I just really want to get a legal fish. All right. I need a bigger one. See you, dude. Oh, threw him upside down. Come on. Oh, 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 there he goes. I I had actually started to reel it in fast because I saw something swimming over here. I, it looked like it could have possibly been a redfish or a trout, so I was going to throw it in. So I was reeling it in kind of fast, and I felt the thud. So I may I may speed up my retrieve just a little bit, just so I can move a little bit quicker because uh, I need to cover ground and try to find these legal fish. Same technique, I've been reeling, and I've, I just felt that hit. He's trying to eat it 
right now. We got a fish messing with it. This is, this is always so intense, this moment, trying to let this fish eat it. Dang it! Ah. That's the first one that I jacked up. It, it broke me. Ah, might have been a better fish. Crap. Crap. It's possible that that may have been the best fish of the day. When I set the hook, my leader snapped. That 10 pound fluorocarbon just may not have been enough. I may, I may have done a little too much Kevin Van Dam in the hook set. That's my fault. Well, that's gonna do it for me. I'm tired, I'm hungry. Uh, I gave it my best shot. I, I, I grinded out as much as I could today to try to find a legal flounder but still, even though I didn't, still a lot of fun. Still a really cool day catching, I think, five flounder, which I know that's not amazing, but for me, I'm happy with it. I'm definitely not an awesome flounder fisherman, so I'm pleased with today. I had a lot of fun. Just, just the way you fish for them, I mean, it is a little slow. It's a little boring. It can lull you to sleep, but it's pretty an intense moment when you've got a fish that's eating your bait and you're just having to wait for them to take it and set that hook. It's pretty fun, pretty cool. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a thumbs up. And as always, you stay bummy.